In this tutorial, we will look at the call sheet in Yamdu. So let's have a look at this project. It's a feature film project. And we go to call sheets in the navigation bar. And you can see here there is no call sheet created, no drafts, and there are no call sheets in the past. Okay, so uh, our scheduled shooting is just ahead of us. So let's go to call sheets and create a new call sheet by clicking on plus. So Yemdu will ask me if this is linked with a shooting schedule. So I can undo this if I want and set an individual date. Or if I do have uh, an active shooting schedule, I can select one of the scheduled shooting days. And in this case, I will choose shooting day number one on August the 2nd. Okay, so we create, click next. And now Yamdu will ask me if there is a special title for this call sheet. So maybe I don't want to state that this is whatever. I can edit this. I can change this. Maybe I want to put in that it's Thursday. And then I can choose the first or the second unit, whatever unit you have created in Yamdu. So in this case, let's choose the first unit and click next. So here Yamdu will ask me to select different types of call sheets. So for example, we can choose shooting day. You could also select a special call sheet template for scouting or rehearsal or additional dialogue recording, traveling, a blank call sheet, for example. You could also choose to uh, file upload. This is also linked to the shooting schedule, but it's simply like a container to upload whatever PDF you like. If you want to do your call sheets outside of Yamdu, uh, in Microsoft Word or Excel or whatever it is that you prefer, you can just upload it here and you can simply use Yamdu as a mailing list or a distribution tool. You can also select an existing call sheet from any of your other projects. Uh, but in this case, we want to select shooting day. So we go to shooting day and click on create. So when we create our call sheet, you see the first thing we have to look at here is, do I want to mark this call sheet as final and make it available to all recipients? No, not yet, because I'm still making the call sheet right now. So I will do this maybe a little later. So again here, I can change the title if I want to, and I can add recipients. So you see here, I already have recipients. That's because uh, the three actors in these scenes have already been added as recipients. Yamdu has already added all of the information from our shooting schedule. So the actors they find, they will automatically add as recipients of this call sheet. So we can see all the information here with, uh, all, of the inf with all of the details you need when you're sending the call sheet. So if you go back to recipients, you can add all of your user groups if you like. You can add certain departments if you like, or you can add uh, individual users from different departments. You can also add individual email addresses uh, if that's something you would prefer to do. So for example, I can put in mail at yamdu.com and add this as a recipient of the call sheet. So I can also sh store this list of recipients if I want uh, very easily and then just reuse it for every subsequent day. Yeah. So I can also cancel people or delete users if I want by clicking on the little X sign here too. If this is good for you, you can click save and it's all saved now on the Yamdu server. So let's say we will do a more elaborate mailing this later on, but let's first have a look at the call sheet. So we have this PDF style design here, which means what you see is what you get. This is actually what the call sheet will later on look like, but you can edit and customize all of this. So all of this is preset and pre-created by Yamdu. 
but this is also a text field so you can change anything you like uh, on this page so for example if I want to for example move, remove some producers I can do it very easily here or I can add someone uh, I can customize it uh, however I like so if I want to add events I can add you know when is lunch what time do we start whatever information I want to add for calls I can change and customize whatever I want okay so I can edit anything here that I want to change if I want to change the call for the camera department I can click on edit and change it to 915 and let's say this is head of departments or DP only or give them their own call if they want whatever you do it is directly added to this call section and again if you want you can also delete anything here that you don't want if you don't need props you can delete it uh, and you can also add call so you can select from user groups if you would like to link with and if you want to for example choose special effects we can have their call at you know 1 p.m and just add it yeah and now SFX is added so let's say you don't want to have the call elements on the right side you prefer to have it perhaps on the left side well it's very easy to change this because you can just drag and drop this to the other side of the page so you can do this with basically everything that is part of your call sheet in Yamdu so let's have a look at the filming location here in Castle Trostburg. Uh, we haven't added an address here. We have an address for Castle Kyra here. And it's all added right in here. We don't have an address for Castle Trostburg because we didn't add it earlier. But here in Castle Kyra we can change things. We can add parking information. So for example we can say park directly in front of the castle. Uh, we can say in relation to toilets they're not available so please use the restaurant uh, next door whatever information you want to add to this these details in the call sheet it's a very useful function to add anything you think is interesting we also have a map here so you can add this and you can do this by choosing the latitude and longitude if you like and you can edit this if you have to if you need to in here too so that's another way that the information about locations is all saved here and it's very easily accessible for people to get a very clear idea of where they need to be so again if i think that this is not where it should be i want to move this element uh, i can move it to after scenes very very simply and you see here we have all of the scenes from our breakdowns from our shooting schedules and everything we will be shooting today on shooting day one all of the basic information attached so you can also add additional scenes or notes if anything changes quickly or spontaneously so again it's very adaptable very easy to change down here under maps we see we have the characters all of the actors taking part on that shooting day and we can edit the information here again so if we want to edit some information about James we can change pickup arrival makeup costume rehearsal uh, we can change all of this we can also hide things so if this guy doesn't need a rehearsal we can simply hide it uh, if the pickup needs to be a bit little earlier it's a longer drive you can adjust all this here inside in the actors section so it's adjusted then in the call sheet and you can also press this little icon here the plus icon because this is a way to add new elements to the call sheet and it's a very useful feature and you see all the features here so if i want to add the crew list i can add it very easily and now the entire crew list is added here all of the crew members in this yamdu project are now on the call sheet so 
For example, if I don't want to show the casting director, Melina, I can simply hide her and she will not appear. And now if I click again, she will appear. So you can do this with each and every crew member and all of this can be reused for the next shooting day. So you don't have to do this over and over again. But if you want to include the basic information of your crew members, it's a very simple way to do so. So in the beginning, I told you that what you see is what you get. And that means now you can also integrate page breaks. So if we click here in an empty space in Yamdu, again, we see that we can choose page break. And now our page is divided at this point. And if you want to delete this page break, you just click and again, it's gone. So you can also add attachments like navigation information or any details you think might be important or should be added to the call sheet. And it's very easy to add images and files like, I, like this. You can see whatever file I choose is attached and is an attachment to the call sheet. So this PDF file is now an attachment to my call sheet. So now if we want, we can click on save and our draft is saved. Maybe I still don't want to make this final. Uh, I want to have some discussion about this. So I can click call sheets here and this is saved in drafts. So I have some time to change this whenever I like. I can always download this call sheet if I would like to and have a look, see what it looks like, see if it's what I want for my call sheet. And then it will open automatically because I've downloaded it in a, as a PDF file and I can have a look at how it will appear on page. Uh, if the page breaks are okay, if everything seems to be in the right place, and then I can have this physical copy of the call sheet to see all the information. And you see here, I added the map and a PDF, and now it's integrated into the end of the call sheet. So it has the directions, the location. It's very useful information that I was able to add as an attachment. So if that's all fine and I want to send the call sheet to my team, I can just mark this as final, make it available for all recipients. I think yes. And do I want to send this uh, via email to all recipients? Yes, I do. Now I click yes. And every user, everyone in our address book, every recipient that we added before, will get this call sheet. So having sent the call sheet, Yamdu will also tell you if there have been any problems regarding the recipients. So you can see information if certain emails don't work, anything that doesn't uh, work for you, you can change here because you can see the information that is problematic, that there might be an issue with. Okay, so we see here, we might need to send those call sheets again to different email addresses uh, so that you won't miss this. And this is an important thing. And once they have had a look at it, it will turn green and that will tell you that they have seen this version of the call sheet. So let's say we want to create a call sheet that is not linked with an existing shooting day. Then we unclick link with shooting day and we choose a date for this, okay? Let's say the date we want to choose is August 10th then we can click next and then we need to assign a unit to this. Uh, if you have a couple of units, you can link it to a unit if you want, but in this case we, we don't want to. And again, we have the option to select templates. And you see, just as we saw when we created the call sheet the first time. So again, we say we want to create a shooting day and click create. So as you can see, we can again edit our title and mailing list and change any settings we want. The presets are already here in our call sheet, but of course we have no data. That is because we don't have an existing shooting schedule, breakdowns and scenes. So none of this information is here, but we can add all of this information right here. So you don't have to jump around, you can just uh, add all of this information right on the call sheet. 
So we click in here and we can add the uh, address, for example. Okay, whatever information you need about the name, the street, the country. And again, you can show the map here. I won't do it here because it's not an existing address. But again, add information about parking, the route to get there, the toilet situation, catering, changing rooms, all of this. You can change it right within the call sheet. You don't have to go to the filming location to do this. It's just all right here. You can do this all in the call sheet. Okay. It's also the same with scenes or if you're working with shots, uh, you can click here and add shots. Okay, so I'm not working with scenes, I'm working with shots. We can just add the shots. So let's click here and create a shot. So you can create the scene ID, the shot ID, the subject, and everything you need to create this shot. Okay, so this shot is a packet of cigarettes or whatever it might be. You can add description, colors, and any information you want. You can link this to a certain set. So we can say it's the castle colonnade. And we can also, you know, do whatever we want here. We can add schedule time, for example, if we want. You know, how long we will be shooting this shot. We can hide the start and the end time. You can edit whatever you want to edit in this section. And we can also add the start and the end time if we want, or hide it depending on what we want to do. And you can also add everything to do in relation to the camera, the type of shot, the movement within the shot, and the equipment you will be using. Uh, so you can even add notes and characters like you see here. You can add uh, characters to the shot. Example, I will enter Mr. Test here. And now I can add Mr. Test as a character to this. I can also add background characters if I wish to. And now you see the shot has been added with the information and the characters who are relevant to the shot. So you can do all of this, your whole design, within the call sheet area. And again, add any elements you would like to. So if I want to add a little note here, uh, whatever information I need to add, uh, I can just type it in here. Hello, everybody and whatever information I want to share. So it's a very convenient way and very quick way to create a call sheet from scratch, especially if you are not using scheduling tools or you do not have uh, a script to work with, for example. And then we save as always here and we can make it as final and available to all recipients. You can do this as we did in the previous call sheet. So whatever you think works best. And if you look at the final call sheet from our last tutorial, in drafts, we have this new call sheet that we've just been working on. So I hope that has been a helpful look at call sheets in Yamdu. All of the best.